Episode 9, AGS Welts Portugal Series. Portugal's D7 visa has garnered immense popularity as an accessible and budget-friendly route to securing residency in this charming European nation. It stands out from other visa options like the Golden Visa or HQA Visa by not necessitating hefty investments or the launch of a business. Instead, the D7 visa centers on demonstrating your ability to sustain yourself in Portugal through regular passive income. D7 Visa Requirements To qualify for the D7 visa, you must meet specific financial requirements. The primary applicant is required to have a monthly income of at least 760 euros. For a spouse or partner, an additional 50% of the minimum income, 380 euros, is required, and for each child, it's a further 30%, 228 euros. Examples of acceptable passive income sources include pensions, dividends, rental income, royalties, and social security. Unlike the digital nomad visa, the D7 doesn't mandate active work, hence, it's particularly appealing to retirees or individuals seeking a more relaxed lifestyle. Challenging requirements While meeting the income requirement is crucial, there are other elements that can be challenging and add to the overall costs of obtaining the D7 visa. Obtaining a Portuguese NIF, tax number, and establishing a Portuguese bank account are essential steps. The proof of accommodation in Portugal can be the most demanding requirement, often necessitating renting or buying a property, or securing a letter of invitation from a resident friend or family member. Application process The D7 visa application process can be broken down into several steps. Begin by gathering all the necessary documents, which may include proof of accommodation. Submit these documents to the consulate in your country of residence. Anticipate a waiting period, typically lasting up to 60 days, for a decision on your application. Once approved, travel to Portugal on your D7 visa to attend an interview with CEF, Serviço de Estrangeiros e Fronteiras, where your visa will be converted into a residence permit. Example costs, while government fees for the D7 visa are minimal, it's important to consider additional costs. NIF and bank account setup costs, approximately your 300-350 euros. Legal fees if you choose to hire a consultancy, which can exceed 1,000 euros but often cover NIF, bank account, and application fees. Expenses for criminal records checks in your current country of residence and in Portugal. Costs associated with travel and accommodation if you visit Portugal for property hunting or exploration. Mandatory travel and or health insurance. Fees for obtaining necessary certificates such as birth and marriage certificates. Passport photo costs, a relatively small but essential expense. If you ever find yourself in need of direction, remember that AGS Wealth is here to guide your way.